れドットの持ってたそっくりの着ぐるみ本物のグルミンからメッセージが来たと見せかけて私を喜ばせようとしたのかさすがにこんなこと思いつくなんて、ま、本人の口から聞くまではいいんじゃないか<笑>仲良くなれてよかったなリコ Pokemon Horizons is back, baby. And the unfortunate thing is, it's not back with the splash. It's actually back with probably one of the most boring episodes that we've gotten of Pokemon Horizons yet. Not only was this like treated as a transitional episode, not only was this treated as a flashback episode, but this was also treated as a filler episode. So you have these three things that. Virtually none of us like in the anime community all piled into one episode, and this was pretty much just a hot pile of garbage. For the most part, this was really just a setup for the next thing that's coming. And、um, I can speak, I promise, too. I know you guys caught that. The next thing, though, that's coming is it looks like Roy might be the first of the two pair between Liko and Roy to catch a Pokemon. The next thing that's coming is Mr. Bad Guy, Mr. Umbreon, is trying to basically. You know, fan the flames and, you know, set things awry and mess everything up. And it looks like the the group, including Freed, is going to face off against this, you know, evil character、uh, character guy here. So it looks like those are like the two things that are being set up for what's coming next.、Uh, outside of that, there's not really anything else.、Um, I'll run you through with this episode kind of like. Uh, went through and stuff, but I was really disappointed this episode because I was like, yo, yo, I was like, yo, Pokemon's back. We're about to, you know, set sail into another place in Paldea. We're going to Galar. Like, let's effing go. And it just, just nothing happened. And,、uh, you know, before I get into the whole story of the anime, the other thing that, that really、um, grinds my gear in Pokemon, and it's not exclusive to Horizons, it's been over the last. You know, decades of, of Pokemon anime. But I think, and this is one of the things that like Red and Blue or like the the shorts、uh, on YouTube or like the different little, like little, little short spin offs、um, or even Journeys, you know, with I think his,、uh, oh man, is his name Gon? I can never remember his name or Go or whatever.、Uh, but you know how he was just kind of chucking Pokeballs and stuff. I think that kind of mitigated what I'm about to say. But one of my biggest pet peeves is we can all agree that Pokemon, the world of Pokemon, is about catching them all, right? Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, right? We, we, we know all the songs, and it's all about being the best and, and, and catching Pokemon and learning about the world. So we can all agree on that, right? So my biggest pet peeve is when they showed the preview for next episode and Roy is becoming friends with this w a t c h trail, right? I get, you know, Pokemon are friends and stuff like that. But I always hated, like, yo, if you want to help this, catch it. Catch it. Throw your Pokeball. Do what, do what this, do what the, the go, go guy did. Like, just throw your Pokeball. Catch it, and then you can help it, right? I always hate this, like, oh, it's like we, we have to, like, tiptoe. It's like, oh, we're going to be friends. We're, be we're besties now. Oh, you want to come with me? You want to come with me? Oh, you, are you sure you want to come with me? Am I worthy of you? Okay, get it, a Pokeball. No, I hate that. I hate that. Uh, so that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. And I know that they're just doing it again. Basically, the same way he caught for Coco, he's doing it again with、uh, Wattrell. So,、uh, anyways,、uh, Wattrell, I like seeing Wattrell's design in this,、uh, in this episode as well, too. But that's really my biggest pet peeve. So let's just talk about the episode. I think this was kind of a wet fart of an episode. I would probably put it right like a six out of ten, just very mediocre episode. So,、uh, going through it,、uh, first off, the ship can't take off, okay? The ship's just having、uh, issues with, I don't know, the fans and whatever else, but Dot has to reboot the ship completely for it to be able to run. Okay, cool. This gives them an, exclu、uh, an excuse to、uh, go and do a picnic, right? If you've played Scarlet and Violet, picnics are the, one of the biggest main draws of the, of the, of the game. And one of the, the main things that you do a lot in the game. So I really love that we're going on a picnic. I was like, that's really cool stuff.、Uh, before I transition to that,、uh, we also talked really briefly about,、um, about how they were talking about Kanto and how you know, they came from there. It's been a while. One thing I noted here was since Liko was going to school in Kanto, 
I wonder if the school that Liko was going to would have been the school that Ash should have gone to if he stayed in Cantum. Okay, that's just a random thought uh, that I wrote down. Okay, so the, the next part of it is uh, we get some recap, unfortunately, about everything that's happened over the last 12 episodes. I hate when a recap comes into play, you know, early, early in the anime. It's like, we don't need to be recapped on the last 12 episodes. Like, it's only been a couple of weeks. And on top of that, like, it's only been 12 episodes. This is the 13th, but it's only been 12 before it. Uh, then it's time for the sandwich, and we get to see everybody making different sandwiches. I like how basically, again, it was just a play on making the different sandwich types that you could make in Scarlet and Violet, which I can't tell you how many hundreds of shiny sandwiches I have made in my time. Uh, tons of videos on our gaming channel about that. I love the sandwich. Um, the mode, I love the 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 creation behind it i like making sandwiches in scarlet and violet it's always a fun time especially if you mess up it's definitely triggering uh then they went in they run into watrell when i say they i mean roy he runs into watrell specifically uh apparently it's flock left it it's hungry blah 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 nothing ends up happening but again we get that preview for next episode uh then we then we see um the next part of it, and Liko spends the rest of her time, again, filler, filler shenanigans. She spends the rest of her time trying to get Dot um, to be inclusive and to, um, you know, come and hang out with them, be social. She can. She gets her and she makes her a sandwich, uh, you know, sandwich bar. And uh, Dot sends her a picture of grooming. Uh, and for some reason, Liko still can't put two and two together. That not only does she have a Quaxley, not only does she have the suit that looks exactly like grooming, girl she's smart she does computer stuff she is grooming i fi i finally thought that freed in the group was finally gonna put her on on it but they didn't and that was really annoying too uh so i wonder how long the whole grooming um shenanigans is going to run through eventually dot's gonna come off uh gotta come out and stuff and like it's just mm, not my favorite again uh, then we see bad guy Umbreon, and then we see Roy gonna catch uh, Watchrout. Maybe, maybe he doesn't even catch him. Maybe he just becomes friends and he lets him go, kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, but my guess is Watchrout just wants to be friends and gets in his monster ball, Pokeball, and stuff like that. But anyways, mediocre episode. Glad it's back, but definitely a little bit disappointed. Let me know what you guys thought. I know I bagged this one up a lot, but it just really was not good. Um, and when something's not good, you just gotta, you gotta say it, even if it's a little negative, like, you just gotta say it. There was little cute moments here, but those cute moments weren't enough to elevate the boring, boringness of the rest of the episode. So, looking forward to episode 14. Again, I have faith in the anime so far. I love Liko. I know that it will get better as we actually go on proper adventures and we get some stakes back into the mix. Uh, but overall, this episode, not very good, especially for after we waited two or three weeks for this to return or however long it was, so... Let me know what you guys thought. See you in the next one. Peace.